Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the steps on how to add some users uh, to your VNX SAN. So we're using a EMC VNX uh, SAN and let's go through and adding some users. So we've logged in, you're using a tool called Unisphere to log in, uh, that all should be good and ready to go. Uh, you're presented with a few options here and we wanna go to the settings tab on the top you're presented with some stuff, network, data mover parameters, security. We're going to security. And from within here, you've got user management. You'll also see that there is server certificates for your file and for your block. So you can give it further authentication via SSL, via a you know, signed uh, certificate authority certificate as well. Uh, for this, we're going to user management. And within here, you're presented with global users, local users, customized file and local users for block. So we're gonna look at just these uh, global, local, and local for file and block. A global, as it says, is manage users of this storage domain. Local users is manage users of the file server and manage users of the block system, okay? So global is essentially your higher end. Uh, you can manage multiple VNX units using a single global user as well. And a global user has access to both local user for file and for block, okay? So let's go ahead and go to global users. You'll see there's a couple of users in there, including the sysadmin one. Don't go ahead and delete that. Just leave it, good practice to leave it. We're gonna say add, and you go in and put in your username, password, confirm your password. So let's just say my username is admin2 and then a nice password and then the actual domain role. So whether you want it to be a full administrator, a storage admin, operator, SAN and NAS, which would be your block and your file level of authentication as well. Okay, so we're going to leave it as administrator. We want this admin to have full rights to the whole lot. Go ahead and say OK and yes, and that has now successfully created your new user. All right, so we can go back in here and there it is. Okay, so that is creating a global user. You've also got your local users for file. So this will only have access, so people who've got access to local users for file will only have access to the file components. Okay, to be able to create your SIF shares, your NFS shares, et cetera, et cetera, will not have access to the block side of things, which is your LUNs and that sort of thing. Similarly, you've got your groups. You can create different groups. And then you've got your roles as well. You can go ahead and customize your groups and your roles as much as you want. To create a user, we'll just drag this down. So what's the username going to be? Uh, the new password, confirm it. Does it expire after a certain amount of time? What, what sort of group you want it to be part of, which is what we were looking at just there before. And what is the membership? Okay, so because it is file, you're going to have NAS admin by default, but you can also give it some extra permissions if you want to, okay? And CLI allowed. Let's just create a new user called file user. We'll give it a password and we'll expire it after 20 days. Do you want it to be able to access the command line as well? Yes, we do. So we go ahead and say, okay, Oops, select the primary group. What group is it going to be part of? Well, this is going to be part of NAS admin. You've created this user on the file side. You should also create one on the block side. That's if you want to. Okay. So that is all done. So that has gone and created file user in here. Okay. Sim, same thing, you go in and you can create a local user for block, add, but the same, essentially that, that screen looks the same as when you're creating a global user. You go in and actually add that particular user into your block side. Use a customization for file so you can go and had, have a whole bunch of more options for your local user for file. The settings are pretty much the same there as well. 
Okay, so that is how to create some users, your global users, your users for file and for block on a EMC VNX SAN.